Hey everybody, this week we're going to be talking about visualization number three. And with that, let's get started on this. Okay, so here we are. This week's visualization is to make a mosaic plot and a contingency table. And now a mosaic plot and a contingency table are two ways to display bivariate categorical data. So take that down in your notes. A mosaic plot and a contingency table are two ways that display bivariate categorical data. So you want to go ahead and download this jump file and then go ahead and open the jump file. Let's do this. Now that we're inside of jump, let's go to tables and then subset. We're going to go to random sample size and then enter in one plus the last two digits of our UTID. And then we're going to click OK. So now let's full screen this. And at all points, let's make sure that we have our random sample size right here. And you'll notice in the bottom left corner, we have it. To make a bivariate display of data, we're going to go to analyze and then fit Y by X. Now, the important thing to know here is the Y variable is the one we are investigating. It's like saying, why does this happen? The X variable is the one that explains it. So we want to know why do certain types of crime happen? That goes in the Y. And what might explain it? The moon phases. So that will be the X variable right here. Let's go ahead and click OK and get our bivariate display of categorical categorical data with a mosaic plot and a contingency table. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually remove one thing from the contingency table. The red arrow is where your options are at and jump. Let's click it and remove total percentage. With total percentage move, we can make it look a little nicer here by doing the following trick, which is not required, but does make the screenshot look a little nicer. Go up here to your options. On a Mac, you'll be able to see them at the top of your screen. On the Windows, you need to hover over the bar right there or click it. Now we're going to go to the selection tool right here and click the contingency table and then let go of it. Once we've done this, we're going to click again, make sure you let go the first time and drag it over till we see a long blue bar appear. Notice I'm not all the way over there. I'm about halfway over to it and you'll see that long blue bar. Now let go and your mosaic plot and your contingency table are side by side. Let's make the mosaic plot a tiny bit bigger by going back up here and going to the arrow tool and we are going to just bring this a little bit bigger right here so we can take a great screenshot. And this is looking pretty great. So let's go to our snipping tool or Command Shift 4 on a Mac. And let's go to a new screenshot, new screenshot. And we're going to go right here, screenshot the following. And we've got it. There's our great screenshot right there. Make sure to take great screenshots and get full points. Now, lastly, Let's just talk a little bit about these numbers. You'll need to do a write-up on this, and I'm not going to go into great detail, but I'm going to show you a little bit of how you can use Jump to help you do the write-up. You'll notice that the mosaic plot has the same information as the contingency table. If you hover over parts of the mosaic plot, you can actually see what they represent. Right here, within full moon, making a conditional distribution, we have 24.71% of the crimes were property related crimes. So this is also what we see right over here, making this row percentage right here, all of these percentages right here. So all of these row percentages right here are within full moon. So this is given it's a full moon, we see certain amounts of crime within full moon. So it's only for full moon. It's 85 is the would be the denominator. And then we have here property was 21. So the 24% is 21 divided by 85. That would be how we would get that conditional probability right there. Given there's a full moon, what is the probability that the crime was a property crime? You can also see you can hover over the not full moon. And we have down here domestic abuse and 19.818% right there. And there were 73 not full moons. And the domestic abuse was 14, 14 divided by 73 is going to give you the 19.18. And that's what we see right here. These are all the withins right here. Now we also have the marginal displays. Now that's a really great thing about a contingency table in a mosaic plot is you have the margin right here of full moon, not full moon. Notice how full moon's a little longer. And that's because there were a little more occurrences of full moon than not full moon. And here's the marginal display of the other variable, which is just a univariate display. 
And you'll notice it's just all the distribution of the different crimes, which you see down here. So when you look at this graphic, understand that the mosaic plot is a visualization of the data in the contingency table. And both of these are bivariate displays of categorical data. Make sure to take some great screenshots and do a great write-up and you'll do great.